بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي Hello brothers, sisters, how are you? Uh, in today's lesson, uh, I would like to show you some um, techniques or uh, some tips and tricks in advanced steel uh, for building uh, grids. Uh, guys, as we know, for uh, building grids or uh, grid is the first step that we make for our models, and it's uh, very important uh, to uh, make our work easier for later stages. So, how we can arrange our grid uh, gr uh, grids? For making grids, as we know, uh, we can go uh, with home, and from here, from the objects, we can just click. Uh, uh, this tab and build building grid. Uh, as you see, uh, uh, it gives us the um, please define two diagonal points for the grid, uh, or uh, by default, is uh, uh, from the original. So I uh, just uh, enter first, and uh, after that, uh, what we need, we need the second point. As you see, the second point is like this. Uh, I will try to, to make if we have two or three uh, stories. Uh, together uh, when we have uh, two or three stories and with different story uh, or, or let's say with different span and different bay so how we can uh, solve this problem okay for this one I will, I will say that uh, we have a land uh, like um, uh, and let's say the first one is uh, 15 the second one is 20 the third one is 25 so what we need we need uh, 60 meter uh, 60,000 uh, by how much the, uh, the length let's say also 15,000 uh, or 50,000 so what we have we have now uh, these grids as you see it's just like this okay so but what we said if, uh, if we want we can just move a little bit uh, grids uh, what we said we said that uh, we said that uh, the first one is 15 the second one is 20 and the third one is 25 but if you look at here uh, if you look at here all of it is uh, 20 meter and not only this uh, the uh, because we have we have uh, wind columns or the facet columns uh, whatever you name it uh, and these uh, facet columns should be divided in, into uh, equal distance with this one or um, not should do but uh, in most cases is divided into uh, equal distances so uh, we have to uh, divide this one for the first one and this one uh, between the second and third one uh, first of all let me let me try to to, to change the uh, try to, to change the, the dimensions okay okay just by double clicking you can go to the display time and change it to the single axis as we know what we have we have to move this one 5000 and uh, this one of course 5000 so now we can uh, whatever we want so let's just try to and make a dimension dir for dimension and uh, this one this As you see, the first one is, is correct. DCO for dimension continuous. For the second one and the third one, I can uh, uh, make dimension uh, bigger. So D for dimension style, uh, and D for dimension style, enter, and it will open up dimension style and modify. And after that, what I can do, I can just go to the feet and let's say one thousand or five hundred whatever we want overall scale we uh, need uh, to enlarge the scale so now we can see the first one is 15 the second one is 20 the third one is 25 okay so now what I'm doing what I'm doing uh, I will divide the columns or the, the uh, facet columns between these two as I said uh, I will make between this one equal distance and between this one equal distance and also between uh, this one equal distances. So how can I build this one? Okay, again I will go back to uh, double click here on the grids or, or I can uh, just select and right click advanced properties. This is the same thing. 
what I'm uh, doing now. The first of all, it's uh, as you see here, is numbers. I can just uh, change one of these so as to be different between uh, this and that. Uh, so A, B, C, D. This is the capital letters and this is numbers. Okay, after that I will go with sequences. As you see here, between, the, uh, between A, B, which is the sequence number one, the sequence index number one, we have only two. But when we have, or uh, uh, let's, let me try to, to, to add another two columns. So I will say uh, two wind columns, so I will say what? I will say this is four. Okay, now that's very good. I will go with the sequence number two. And what, uh, where did this sequence, or how this sequences work? And these sequence work, uh, as you see here, this is all uh, the same distances. So because it's the same distance, so it will be one sequence. Okay, this is the, uh, if these two, if they equal distance, it will be the one uh, sequence. Otherwise, because there's the, the difference in distance between uh, this is 20 meter and this is 25, so each one will be a sequence. Okay, after that, I can put another two uh, for this one. So let's say again, let's say four. Okay, if I go uh, with index three, and uh, for this time, what I want, I want to uh, say, I want to uh, add another three, so I want to five. I want to be one, one in the middle. As you see, guys, this is the the very, uh, very good, a uh, very good uh, grid. And now uh, the grid between the first one, which this one is the the equal distances, the second one equal distance, and the third one equal distance and not need to uh, one by one move these uh, grids that's great and how about the the, the rest how about the rest I will I will I will uh, say that or uh, I will say that uh, the first one and the, the last one we have different bay length okay uh, so uh, by this just double click here on uh, here uh, the sequence is here and this is uh, uh, a lot of Uh, this is so big sorry this is so big uh, so what I'm, I can do I can just copy uh, this one or uh, what I can do I can just make a line from here make a line and make another line here this by the same way and I will say offset I will offset this to by 5,000 uh, okay by 5,000 again I will change the, the display type for this one. I will go with the single axis and I'll select. I will bring it like this and bring it like this. As you see, just like this, like that. And I don't care how much I have here. So how can I solve this problem now? Again, you know, I just select it and right click advanced properties and go to the sequence number three uh, or num number two, the sequence number two. As you see, we have only these two. We have. And the distance between these two is 40. Uh, if I say I have six, we say uh, if I say seven, you see now I can I can say or eight. I can see the the, the distances between them, right? Let's say seven, uh, six. We have as you know the distance between them is eight meters. And so by this way we could uh, or we can arrange. Uh, our grid system now without any uh, problem we uh, build our uh, grid system uh, so uh, this is for today I uh, hope you enjoy uh, and uh, I'm, I'm asking you if I, I make uh, what's your suggestion if I make a, a advanced tutorial from A to Z from in advanced steel and each lesson will have its own uh, tip and tricks as is here uh, this is a new uh, tip and trick in advanced steel. I think uh, most of you uh, don't know uh, this one. And I will try to, to make a, a very useful and advanced course in advanced steel. Uh, I made uh, an advanced course before in Revit Concrete Structure. So uh, if you want, you can uh, buy that one and uh, it's trend for $25. And uh, I will make another one for advanced steel uh, of, uh, as well. So thank you for, uh, very much. Don't forget to subscribe and like and share this video. Thank you very much.